We are here with a happy Coach Corey Cole after the Eagles beat Lubbock Christian 86-81 on Saturday. And Coach, that clinches us a spot in the Heartland Conference Tournament, our first conference tournament appearance in six years. And uh, that's quite an accomplishment for a team that was, that was picked last in the preseason. Yes, sir. That's what our guys say, our yes, sir, our yes, sir. The, the guys have just been resilient all season long. Um, it's not where you're picked, it's how you finish. We use that as motivation. We use that as something to just kind of shoot for. And to, to get respect, you've got to take it. And today was a step for us just against a really good Lubbock team that's been playing well. Senior night, a lot of things just, just kind of going against us. And our guys played hard for 40 minutes to secure this conference berth. And, uh, and, and you, you could tell, well the, well, the first 10 minutes we kind of played like we did Thursday night, which was not good. But all of a sudden our scorers started scoring and we were off. I think the rhythm of the game is always, you know, it's a little bit slower start on senior day. There's just so much, so many emotions. I didn't juggle the lineup today, just I didn't want to have that, maybe that slower start uh, linger along. But just the emotions, that first five or five to eight minutes, our guys were just kind of, we weren't sold in yet. But again, once we subbed in and got some uh, some spark from from Abel Rodriguez and, and Miro, I think it just got us going. And then the other guys came back and filled in their roles as well. Well, I want to focus a little bit on Abel. He was one of our three seniors, and he played the game of his life today. 18 points on 7 of 9 shooting, 11 rebounds, a block shot, 3 assists. He had a couple of great passes for dunks to, to Will Leonard. I mean, just he... – He was a monster. I mean, he, he was a monster. He was so relaxed. I love that he was smiling on, on great plays, bad plays. He was just being an energy guy for us. He's capable of doing that each and every night, and it's good to see him do that on senior day against a really good team that, uh, that, that kicked us pretty good at their plays. But it was Abel's moments, and he, and he rose up and made some big plays for us on both ends. And as a bonus, he gets to go play the conference tournament at his high school gym at Union High School in Tulsa. Yes. Um, now, and Abel wasn't the only big guy who played well tonight. Uh, Will had eight points. Uh, Miro had eight points. Rod Smith had 23 and eight rebounds. I mean, all of our big guys really stepped up and just shot the ball, shot the ball well, defended well, rebounded well today. And, and again, it just speaks again to just our depth. I mean, EJ – and Box have carried us these last three weeks on with their perimeter, um, just shot making. But we've always had a, a really good, balanced inside game. And against Lubbock tonight, that was one of the things we wanted just to, to stress is we wanted to pound it at them on the inside. So we, we felt like we could get some easy looks early against our front line against theirs. And our guys locked into the game plan. Something we really didn't, we, we really didn't do on Thursday as, as well as we should have, which was, which was stick to it. Tonight the guys just were patient. They won their matchups. And uh, as you can see with our depth, I think we just warmed down and made some really crucial plays by our front line. And we and we held on at the end. We we, we made our, made enough free throws to win, um, made the plays that we had to make to hold on to that lead. Absolutely. And that's a tribute to just the toughness and the resiliency of these guys and the chemistry that we have. Is We didn't get rattled with a couple of no calls. We just got to be better in that moment and just get to the next play. And the guys did a good job of not lowering their head or losing their confidence, but just saying, all right, the next play. And it was good to see our guys finish with a good win. Well, now we go on the road and we're playing for seed in the tournament. We could be either the sixth, the seven, or the eight. Um, that's all kind of going to be determined next week at Fort Smith and at Rogers, which are not two easy places to play. But um, as we've seen in this conference already this year, anybody can beat anybody. Absolutely. I mean, road has been uh, something that's given us uh, a huge black eye. We haven't been very consistent on the road, so that's that's on me. So we'll have a good week of preparation, get ready for Fort Smith and then Rogers, and I'll have my guys ready to go. And then the conference tournament, and like I said, this year more than any, it's wide open. I, I think every coach feels the same way. And on any given night, if your team's not ready to play, you could take an L. So we've got a lot of good coaches, a lot of good programs in this league. I think that conference tournament's going to be an eye-opening eye, eye for a lot of teams because anyone can beat anybody on a neutral floor. And uh, say, we're in, that's the important thing. And uh, on to Fort Smith on Thursday. Absolutely. Thank Thanks, Coach. Much.